I say we take off and nuke the entire site from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. Just think of what a nuclear explosion would look like up there. The U.S. government once considered it. CNN has documents and interviewed the leader of a once-secret Air Force project innocuously titled A Study of Lunar Research Flights, with the just as lowbrow nickname Project A-119. A nuclear explosion on the moon. Physicist Leonard Rifle, now 85 years old, led the project in 1958. It was the height of the Cold War. America and the Soviet Union were in a nuclear arms race. The Soviets had just launched the world's first satellite, Sputnik, and were ahead in the space race. U.S. officials needed a big splash. According to Rifle's now declassified report on the project, team leaders also thought they could get information concerning the capability of nuclear weapons for space warfare. Rifle says the plan called for an intercontinental ballistic missile to be launched from an undisclosed location, travel 240,000 miles to the moon, and detonate on impact. Various news reports say they considered using a bomb the same size as the one dropped on Hiroshima, but Rifle now says he wasn't in on those discussions. Rifle had some brilliant minds on his team. One of them, an up-and-coming graduate student named Carl Sagan who went on to become one of the world's most renowned astronomers. Later on, Rifle says, Sagan violated security when he mentioned the still-classified project on a job application. Sagan's widow told us she's not sure if he ever did that, but if he did, it wasn't intentional. By 1959, Project A-119 was drawing more concern than excitement and was abandoned. And Rifle says other factors in killing the project were that they were not sure of the reliability of the weapons. The possible deterrent against the Soviet Union wouldn't have been worth the gamble, and there would have been a lot of public backlash in the U.S. Contacted by CNN, the Air Force would not comment on Project A-119, even 54 years later.